Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has been rolling out a couple of new changes to Google Bard. And obviously they are trying to play catch up to some degree or other um, because they are the direct competitor to Microsoft's new Bing chat. Now some of these new changes which I did post on a couple of days ago um, are that as we can see Bard is now available uh, in a dark mode. You can also export your chat responses and that the waiting list is over so you don't need to join a waiting list anymore to try out Bard and I'll leave a link to that video down below. Now just another video um, just to keep you updated and in the loop if you are following the development and are using Google Bard. And two new changes have rolled out recently over the last day or so. And if we head over to the updates, um, which is part of this left-hand menu in the chatbot, this will actually take us over to the release notes. And here we can actually see that on the 15th of May, which was yesterday in my region, uh, Google has rolled out two more features and two more updates for Google Bard. Now, the first is you get more concise summaries, and the second is um, they are making sources more useful. Now, Google has this to say about uh, more concise summaries. And they've updated Bard with better summarization capabilities by incorporating advances that they have developed in their large language models, which is LLM for short. And um, regarding making sources more useful, uh, Bard can now help you identify which parts of a response match a source. For the responses with sources, you'll see numbers alongside the response. And if you click on one of those numbers, uh, you will now be able to identify the section of the text that matches the source and easily navigate to it. So just to demonstrate, um, I have already um, asked the chatbot to summarize an article about elephants because um, I did this prior to posting because sometimes um, it did what I wanted it to do and sometimes um, it didn't generate what I wanted it to do because obviously BARD is an experiment so you can expect to see a couple of bugs. Now um, this is a summarized art article about elephants, just an example. So this is the first... Um, feature um, and update um, that rolled out recently, more concise summaries, as we can see. And Google have said they've rolled out more concise summaries um, because um, it's especially helpful when you want to get the gist to the gist of a topic quickly. And then the second one was making sources more useful. And here you can see they've added that little source, that little number to identify the section of the text that matches the source. And, and when you click on it, Obviously, you can easily navigate to that, and yeah, you get the source, and if you click on that, that will take you online to the actual source where this article was summarized from. And Google has said um, why they are making sources more useful um, is they want to make it easier for you to understand which parts of a response match a source and provide you with source links in line with the text. So those are just two new updates that have rolled out recently uh, for Google Bard, bringing you more concise summaries and making sources more useful. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.